Hi there, this is Shelly Gray from ShellyGrayTeaching.com and today I'm here with my daughter Sadie and we are going to show you a math card game called Target. For this game, all you need is a deck of cards with the jacks, queens, and kings removed and two pieces of scrap paper uh, to keep track of each player's points. So this game can be used to reinforce addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And uh, the goal is to spell the entire word target on your paper. So basically to be the first player to spell that word. So we'll just get right into it and we'll show you exactly how you play. So for this game, we're dealing three cards to each player and then we're flipping one in the middle and that is going to be our target number. So in this round, we are trying to make the number three. So each of us will flip over our cards and it's not a race. Just each of us are trying to make the number three using all three of our cards. So I can make the number three by doing 10 plus one, subtract eight. So I get a T on my paper, the first letter in target. Uh, Sadie, can you make the number three? Yep. Okay, how are you gonna make it? Six plus four, take away seven. Perfect, six plus four, take away seven makes three. So Sadie gets a T on her paper as well. And then we sweep the cards and we do another round. So three cards to each player, flip one in the middle. This time we're trying to make four, that's our target number. So we'll both flip our cards. Okay, and we can rearrange them and we have to use all three cards in order to make that target number. So I can do four times 10 to make 40 and then divided by 10 to make four. So I get the next letter in target, which is an A. Sadie, can you make the target number? Nope. Okay, Sadie can't make it. So that's okay, I was able to make it, so we still sweep the cards, and now I'm one letter ahead of Sadie. And we keep playing. Now I'm going to show you, in this turn, what happens if neither of us can make a target number. So the target number here is five. Now just for the purposes of this video, we're just not even going to look at our cards here and uh, we're just gonna pretend that we cannot make five, okay? So neither of us can make the target number. So what happens in this case is that we deal a fourth card to each player. And now we can use that fourth card to help us make that target number. Now what we do here is we only need to use three of the four. And this would just continue until one player can make that target number. Suppose that again, neither of us could make the target number five then we would deal a sixth card and now we would have six cards to use to help us make that target number but we only or sorry five cards i'm sorry but we only need to use three of them and then we just keep on playing until one person has spelled the entire word target on their recording sheet now a helpful tip for this game is to use two decks of cards if you have some cards that are not complete or some decks that are not complete this is a great way to use them because they don't need to be a complete deck. Just take out those face cards and put two decks together so that you have lots of cards. Otherwise, your students might have to be shuffling uh, the cards that have been swept to the side already. If you have any other modifications that you can think of or other ways that you could use this in your classroom, I'd love to hear. So please leave your comments below. And um, I hope you enjoyed this game. Be sure to be on the lookout for more fun math games very soon. Thanks a lot for watching.